Okay, guys, welcome back. You are still with me, Dr. Hussein uh, Haniba, <clears throat> on my chemistry uh, video. I'm still in the topic how to balance the chemical equation. This is the third part of the video. Most probably, this is the last part of the balancing equations. So, on this video, in this section, I'm going to teach you a series of chemical equations. We are going to balance it one by one. So, I'm really encouraged all of you at least have watched my previous video. Okay, let me have a look. Okay, I'm really encouraged my all of you uh, for these sections on onward. Please, please, please uh, watch my part one of the video, part two of the video. So it will be much easier for this discussion in the third video. Okay, so without further ado, let's discuss about it. I open. So guys, let's say I give few uh, equations. Okay, I'm start with the easiest, uh, quite normal one. We have a Fe2SO4 three <coughs> plus KOH and give you K2SO4 plus FeOH three. So we're going to balance this equation. Yes, definitely, this equation is not balanced. So let's do one by one. Starting with the ion, Fe, we have a 2 over here. And on the other hand, on the right-hand side, you must compare between the left-hand side and the right-hand side until you get a balanced chemical equation. So over here is 2 and over here is 1. Therefore, of course, 2 times with what give you, uh, 1 times with what give you 2. It's 1 to balance, just a simple mathematic. I will put a 2. I will put a 2. Remember, guys, you're only allowed to change the coefficients and you will look the polyatomic as the entire of the whole thing. Okay, so and now this multiply with this. Remember, this polyatomic we will assume as the entire whole molecule, a whole species. So, two times with three is six. But nevertheless, on the left hand side, I only have one, and here is a six. Therefore, I will place uh, 6 over here, okay? Because 6 times with 1, it will result as a 6. And look at the potassium. The 6 times with 1 potassium. The, again, it is 6. But on the right-hand side, I only have 2 potassium. 2 potassium. So, uh, just a simple calculations, I should place a... Uh, 3 over here in order to make it balanced. Therefore, 3 times with 2, finally I get 6. And nevertheless, 3 times with the SO4 as a whole species is a 3. Therefore, SO4 is a 3. Bingo. So you get Fe2SO4 3. I rewrite the equation 6KOH. And 3K2SO4 plus 2FeOH3. Bingo. You do get a balanced chemical equation. Even though you will notice it's quite um, difficult in the very first place because it involves a lot of polyatomics and a quite lengthy, but it actually, when you do it step by step, you definitely you can solve this. Okay, let's look a few more examples. Let's say you are given a simple one, a very, very simple. You have uh, X xenon plus with the F2, it will result F E F, uh, F uh, X E F6. This is definitely not balanced. Okay, looking at here, 1 and 1, 2 and 6. So, mathematic, mathematic. It is a 3. 3 times 2 is a 6 and 6. So, this is just a simple balance equation. Then, <clears throat> more example. Let's say you are given Ag, silver, plus with the H2S, hydrogen sulfate. It gives you Ag2S plus H2. Look at the species. 1, 
and one bal uh, not balance sorry one and two it is not balanced therefore I'm gonna place a two over here then look at the other species this is balanced somehow balanced one sulfur one sulfur and two hydrogen two hydrogen bingo a balanced chemical equation so what I'm trying to say Please have a look on the left hand side and right hand side and make sure the total number of the reactant uh, atoms on the reactants and the product is equivalent, it's balanced. So more examples. <clears throat> so this on this video I'll give you more examples to really understand what I, what I have teach in the previous video. KOH, potassium hydroxide, and <clears throat> you plus with a CO2, it result. K2CO3 plus H2O. Let's balance these equations. <coughs> so the number of potassium 1 and 2. Definitely not balanced. And put a 2 over here. Okay. So let's calculate the remaining part. I have uh, how many oxygen over here? I have... Uh, 2 times 1 is 2 oxygen, but, but remember we also have oxygen over here, 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4 oxygen. So go back to on my right hand side, I have uh, 3 oxygen and 1 oxygen. I have 4 oxygen. Yes, the oxygen is balanced. Now look at the total carbon. I do have 1 carbon and 1 carbon. So again, yes, it is balanced. Therefore, just placing number 2 over here, the entire of the equation becomes balanced. So, let's look more examples. I really want the student to get it, your understanding on this balancing equation. I have a Na plus a Cl2 give you a simple one. NaCl. So to balance it by looking at here, I have a 2 chlorine and here is 1. You cannot change the subscript. You're only allowed to change the uh, coefficients, the number in front of the molecules. So when you times this is 2. Okay, when you times this, 2 times 1 is 2. But over here on left hand side, it's just 1. So you place a 2. Balance. The entire of the species become balanced. Another example, <coughs> SiO2 plus C give you silicon carbonate, is carbon, and plus with the carbon monoxide. So in order to balance this, silicon 1 and 1, it is balanced, shouldn't be a problem. And look at the total number of uh, oxygen. I have two oxygen on left hand side. But here, I only have one. Therefore, I'm going to place number two. Remember, it's a coefficient. I'm going to multiply. So now, when two times with one, I get two oxygen, which is balanced on the left-hand side. So, but over here, I do have a carbon. Two times with one carbon is result two. On left-hand side, I only have one carbon. Therefore, I put a two over here. So it is a balanced chemical equation. It is a balanced chemical equation. Am I right? The total number of carbon. Oh no, I make a small mistake over here, which is we almost forget. Yes, yes. We have two carbon over here. I overlooked about this. I overlooked about this carbon. So you have one carbon hiding over here and two carbon over here. Therefore, one plus two, it should give you three. This should be your balanced chemical equation. So always like look at me. I'm also will always when I'm done the chemical equation, I will double check on the left hand side and right hand side in order to get the right uh, balanced chemical equation. Okay, let's look a few more before I'm ready to end the video. Let's say I have a Al and plus with the H2O, H2SO4, sorry. Then it produces Al2 polyatomic 
SO4 3 plus H2. So definitely by a glance of the equation, but by looking at it, you already know that it's not balanced. So aluminium 1 and aluminium 2. Therefore, I put a 2 over here. And look at here, sulfate. Sulfate over here, I have 3. And but nevertheless, sulfate over here, I only have 1. So I will place a 3 because a multiplication. 3 times 1 is 3, which is balanced with the other, uh, on the other hand. It is balanced with the other hand. But the hydrogen, 3 times 2 is a 6. But here, I only have 2. Then I place a 3. Yes, it is balanced. That's how you do the balance equations, guys. So, thank you so much. Again, please subscribe to my YouTube channels more for more video and turns on the notifications to always alert you with the new videos. Thank you so much and please do support me.